Since last time I posted on how we can install ESXi, the VMware company has came up with a new version of the ESXi which is the ESXi version number 8. The installation process is very similar, in fact it is almost exactly the same. But because a lot of people are looking and searching for specific installation instructions, I'm going to go over a demonstration on how you can install ESXi version number 8 on your the computer or server. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the VMware website. So that would be vmware.com. If you can't find the vmware.com website, you can simply Google search the VMware and it'll get you to this website. And the next thing we will do is to log in with your account. Now, if you don't know how to create a Customer Connect account, I have already gone through that process on my previous video and you can watch that and then I will leave a link in the description as well as a card at the top right hand corner on how to do that. So I'm simply going to go to Customer Connect here. And on this Customer Connect page, I'm going to use my uh, account information uh, to log in uh, to my account. And in here, we will go to the option call up here the, in, in this section called uh, My Evaluations. Now, if I go to My Evaluations, what you're going to see is that it'll show you evaluations that you have. For example, I have evaluation that expires that shows VMA version number seven. And we doesn't have any other options uh, here. So it doesn't list the version number eight because we haven't purchased that. So I just want to show you that. So we're going to go back to the Customer Connect main page. And in here, we need to add one of the copy, one of the copy from the version eight to the evaluation section. To do that, we will select the option called All Products. In here, what we are looking for is the option called VMware vSphere. So this particular product, VMware vSphere. Don't click on the option called VMware vSphere hypervisor EXXI. Instead, we're going to click on VMware vSphere, this option. And in here, we're going to click on the option called uh, the try. And in this try page, you will be greeted with the product evaluation center for vSphere 8. Explore vSphere free for 60 days. Now, how this is going to work is basically it allows you to download a full copy of the vSphere uh, VMware ESXi version 8. However, after 60 days, certain features uh, will not be available to you. For most home lab users, you don't need those features. If you know, if you would like to know the difference between evaluation version and the full versions, uh, I will put some information on my website. But for most home users, like for example, you don't need clustering. Clustering means that you have multiple VMware EXXI machines that are working tandem. Those things will not work after 60 days. But for most home users, just to host your virtual machines, VMware uh, vSphere EXXI version 8 is more than enough. So in here, what we're going to do, we're going to click on the option called register. And that will get you to the end user license agreement. So because I have already filled out my information and all the information is already here populated, only thing I need to do is just to go to the bottom of this and I'm going to say, um, uh, please, uh, you know, if you want to have sales contact me, you can select that one as well. And then we're going to uh, enter the CAPTCHA. So to enter CAPTCHA, basically we're going to enter that whatever you see on your screen. So my niece is this one. And then I'm going to say start uh, and sorry, then you're going to select I agree the terms and conditions outlined in the general terms. So if you don't know what they are, you can click on it and you can read the general terms and conditions for VMware. So if you agree with those terms and condition, we're gonna select that and we're gonna say start free trial. So now you will have the ability after you click that button to download your uh, ISO image for version eight. So right here, we have the ISO image for version eight and it is an evaluation copy. So we're gonna download that uh, by clicking this option 
call uh, you know the download uh, uh, manually so we're gonna download that and that will start downloading uh, your ISO file now if you go down this page uh, you will see some other additional options uh, that may be available to you that maybe you are interested in and these are all part of the package that uh, you know you decided to download you don't need to download any of these things you only need that main one that I showed you at the very top which is this one and again this particular one is an evaluation 60 day trial version and uh, this is the way that the VMware is moving forward uh, with the uh, version 8 and next few minutes I'm going to show you how you can install this once you have downloaded that ISO file now you can create a bootable disk or a USB to install the VMware EXXI 8 on your server or computer right but however because I'm showing you as a demonstration I will be installing on your VMware EX sorry VMware workstation so to do that I'm just going to go to file and I'm going to create a new virtual machine and this time I will select uh, typical and I'm going to go next and if you want to know how you can go through the custom installation again there's another video I have already posted for VMware EXXI 7 and you can watch that so I'm just gonna select just simply typical and I'm gonna go next and I'm gonna find uh, that file so I have that file located in the 73 folder right here so wherever you have that uh, VMware EXXI 8 installer you're gonna select that one and I'm gonna click next and in here we're going to select the option called VMware EXX and I'm going to select the option called the EXXI 7 and later and then I'm going to click next and in here you can name your virtual machine so I'm going to say it EXXI 8 uh, because that's what I'm installing uh, and then uh, for right here for the location uh, you can select the location uh, wherever you want to install this machine so I'm going to leave it as uh, default this is where all your files going to be located for this virtual machine so if you're going to do it this way so make sure there's enough room wherever you are locating this file and we're going to click next and I'm going to increase the hard drive space to maybe uh, 200 uh, gigabyte uh, just to keep it uh, you know safe um, and then we're going to go into the option we're going to keep it as a split for now and we'll click next and it, everything looks good and I'm gonna click finish now what this is gonna do now is gonna create that virtual machine and when you power it on it will power it on with the EXXI 8 installation process so now I'm gonna power it on and so I'm gonna click power on and in your situation you're just gonna hire to just boot up your computer turn on your server with the bootable EXXI medium that we just created and this may take few minutes depending on how powerful your server or the virtual machine which we are trying to install so I'm installing EXXI inside a virtual machine which is not the way so usually we do these things because this is a bare metal um, virtualization machine but this is just for demonstration purposes So up here it will tell you that it is VMware EXXI 8 we are trying to install um, and under here it will say uh, VMware 7 comma um, 1 I don't know why this is I you know it's not important what important is what we are installing here is the VMware EXXI 8 version which is the newest edition as of 2022 October so it might take few minutes again uh, to load up everything depending on how fast your server is so it's the server hardware that determine how fast this will go through So once it's loaded up, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get welcome to VMware EXXI 8. 
and you have the option to either cancel it or continue so to continue we need to press enter so we're going to go enter and you'll be greeted with the end user license agreement or eula you should read this through and once you agree with that if you agree with the terms and conditions you're going to press f11 and what that's going to do it's going to be scanning for available hardware on the system so it see that we have a hard drive with a 200 gigabyte and that's what we're going to select that's the only hard drive we have because of that it will be highlighted if you have multiple ha hard drives you'll see other hard drives listed here but you wouldn't see that it in yellow so you can go uh, use the arrow key up and down to select uh, you know highlight the one that you would like to go with and then once you have chose the hard drive you can press enter and they're going to ask for the uh, default uh, keyboard layout or the keyboard layout so i'm going to keep it default us default because my i'm in canada and I use the English uh, United States State keyboard. So we can press enter. And in here, we're gonna uh, uh, enter the root password for your EXXI. So the root password here is the one that you're gonna use to log in to your EXXI server once you have installed everything. So it is very important, whatever the password you pick is something that you remember, otherwise you will have, won't be able to recover uh, your system there are, there are no loopholes there used to be some loopholes on previous versions of exxi before we exxi 7 where you can bypass the password but now there are no loopholes so make sure that whatever the root password you pick you remember so i'm going to pick a password here and then i'm going to enter the same password again and it'll give you a message saying the password match and now we're going to press enter and it's going to say confirm that we are going to install the exxi 8.0 or and whatever in the hard drive right now will be wiped as a result so i'm agreeing with that so we're going to select the f11 and it will start installing the exxi 8. so it'll take a little time uh, to for the installation process again uh, depending on how strong your hardware are, how good your hardware uh, where, where you are installing this it might take a few seconds to a few minutes so now you will get a message after the installation saying that the installation is completed if it is successful and you should remove the installation media before rebooting so on your machine you just had to pull up pull out the usb key or you have to remove that uh, from your um, um, machine by you know ejecting your cd rom so i have a virtual machine so i can simply go to the settings and in here under cd drive uh, i can uh, you know remove this uh, thing completely to do that Right now, because it's powered on, I can't do it here. So, if you are actually on a um, you know extra uh, on a uh, virtual machine, what you need to have do in this situation is to basically shut down. And uh, in my situation, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to simply go in here and I'm going to force power it out, down. So, I'm going to say uh, shut down. Uh, sorry, power off guest. I'm going to say power off, and then I'm going to go into the settings of my virtual machine and then i'm going to remove that cd and i'm going to say okay and i'm going to power back on again this is only because i am installing the exxi 8.0 on a virtual machine but if you want to know how to do it that's how you do it because on a typical desktop hardware or a server hardware you basically eject the device in this case you just have to shut it down that's all and It'll take a few minutes uh, to complete the installation process once you reboot or shut down and restart. And once it is completed, it'll give you an IP address which you can use to access your VMware EXXI. And I will show you how you can access that as well. There you go. So you have IP addresses that you can use to access your server. Now, there are some settings that you can 
change in here, especially you don't need to have a DSCP IP address. It is recommended to use a static IP address, but all of these settings I have already gone over with the EXXI version seven. I'm just going to show you how simply to log into this thing. So uh, to do that, uh, I will open up my uh, web browser again, uh, right here. And I'm going to copy this IP address uh, here, but what is really important sometimes some people forget is it is HTTPS, not HTTP. So even though we don't have SSL certificates going, it is HTTPS. So we're gonna use HTTPS, uh, we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna go double slash, and we're gonna go 192.168.26.10, uh, because that's the IP address there. Now, it's gonna give you a warning saying this is an unsecured connection, but not to worry. As I said, even though we don't have SSL certificates, we are using the 443 port and that's why we are using the HTTPS. So we're gonna click enter. There you go. You're gonna get a warning saying this is not a secure private connection, but that's okay. So we go to advanced here. We're gonna say proceed uh, to unsafe one and it will load up your EXXI 8.0. And in here, we're gonna go uh, enter root as our username and the password, we're gonna go whatever the password you entered. And we're gonna log in. And it will give you a pop-up saying, hey, do you want to join uh, their customer program? You can decide to join or you can decide not to join, it's up to you. And we can click okay. And it will give you a warning also up here saying you are currently running the evaluation version and license will expire in 60 days. And this would be uh, your ESXi uh, version 8.0, the newest edition. And it has some uh, little nice little features uh, that may not, uh, or you know, not available on the previous versions. I will go into in depth of what has been done differently on EXXI 8 as opposed to EXXI 7 and what you can do here that you may not be able to do in the other versions uh, and a comparison between the two in my future videos. And that's everything for today. That's how you install VMware EXXI 8.0. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me if you like these type of lectures and how-to videos, please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. Until next time, good luck with your exams and studies and have a nice day.